the button has been activated. We're all doomed. Who? <laughs> I have no power to grant this. In I this just realized I don't. But inspiration. <laughs> Ellie, what was that? I just realized that I need to rethink how I was going to start this. Oh. It, it's like pressing send activates your ability to see all typos. <laughs> Two, one. Good evening. My name is Ellie, and with me are Beth, Cratch, Eo, and Jen. And tonight we're playing Cypher System. 500 years ago, the world ended. Yesterday, to four people in the world of Duran, it happened again. Adelina the blacksmith, Devon the scholar, Karasinda the herb witch, and old Rob the hermit heard an otherworldly sound from outside the borders of the town of Dunmarch and ran to the gates to discover that the town was on fire. When they ran in to help survivors, they found nobody there except a few creatures no one alive had ever seen before, but which they remembered from myth. The Ugat, a barely intelligent species from before the apocalypse that bathed the world in wild magic. The Ugog reacted in fear to Devon and called him a Giona, the name of another long-vanished species, and ran off after giving him a trinket. The group fled to the west after discovering that there was nobody in the town left to save, and after some deliberation, they decided to use the river that flowed through the middle of Dunmarch to escape, tying their belongings to a raft to make sure they stayed dry. Just after they jumped in, buildings collapsed into the river, sending a flood of water their way, carrying them out of the town and reducing them to unconsciousness. They've woken up on the bank of a river, their belongings washed up nearby, with no idea where they are or what to do now. The name of the place is unknown. This is Plus Ultra. This counts as a long rest! So, yes, it does. <laughs> you get all your spells back. <laughs> I had zero of zero! Oh, we should say that something we got to do after the recording ended, because the, since this is cipher system, but with house rules to start off oh, yes. tier zero, we got to pick one word of our sentence. I'm a speaker. So, would you like to introduce yourselves? <laughs> Who wants to start? Well, Crash already was. Oh, that's right. Okay. Robert Old oh. Rob Robertsonson Jr. is a blank speaker who blank. Uh, strictly speaking, you're a blank speaker who blank human. <laughs> that makes it better and worse. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. And Karasenda is a descriptor mm -hmm. and Karasenda is a descriptor adept focus mixed heritage <laughs> who focus mixed heritage according to my my character sheet which has placeholders for the things okay so Adelina is a blacksmith and a warrior and she's half human and half felta thanks to her parentage Devin Garrow is now an adept no, this does not provide him any benefits yet, except a somewhat better stat pool. <laughs> yes, because while we have picked that oh, right. particular type, we don't have all the things that come with the type yet. What did you... Hmm? Um, for those of you who are... who, who chose backgrounds, or... or uh, yeah, backgrounds, I guess. Hmm. Who were... Uh, like... Um, Karasinda and Devin, I know. Uh, I don't have my background sheet up. Um, if you took like like uh, Karasinda's uh, mixed heritage uh, grants plus one pool in either intellect or speed. Uh, I haven't included that in your uh in your character sheets when i when i give you those numbers at the end of last week so uh, stick mine in intellect and... okay <laughs> which one do you click the the 
right hand one on the thing to, to boost something? Um, I think you just it type it in. Your pool, so change both numbers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Devin, I know you get one. I oh, see. yes. I have to look at what I sent you. Well, Ellie's looking. I, it is in either might or speed because of wild touched. And therefore, I'm going to put it in speed. Should I be doing anything with that? Um, or is that already done for me? Just a second, I'm trying, I'm trying to find out if you should. Okay. I don't think there was any stat adjustments for human. Um, but I think I might be the only one that's just human. Yeah, Mixed Heritage and Wild Touch both have a built-in stat bonus because they replace one of the origins that humans and Felta get to take. I'll oh, just sit here okay. eating my vanilla ice cream. Um, hmm. Vanilla's a good flavor. Scholarly. Hmm? And Adelina, you quick-witted, you gain plus one to intellect edge. So okay. I'll put that in for you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Sorry about that. I... <laughs> no, this is great. And because Cypher System is not played by as many people, having us go over rules like this makes this more useful as a thing to listen to. Um. Dungeons and Dragons. We're educational. They assume that everyone knows how to play Dungeons and Dragons, so they don't sit and say, "Okay, everyone, now remember when you're rolling for initiative, we are adding your dexterity modifier and all that stuff." Um, mm -hmm. Also, it's worth should I that? Um, you go. Go ahead, keep going. Uh, we should. Am I supposed to put a check the box next to the plus one edge? Yes. No. Um, for no. Uh, no. That's. No. Okay. Got I was it. Just about to Thank talk you. about that, um, because ah, are, your character right. shoes look like mine, and we all now have two XP. Is that the yes? Case? Oh, we do. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. I see it. XP yes. for other things, but also after each session, traditionally the GM awards two XP to everyone who was there. Uh, XP are a spendable currency. You can spend an XP to re-roll a missed roll, you could spend an XP during a GM intrusion to say, nah, that's not happening. Although GM intrusions are another way to earn XP. So saying, nah, that's not happening means you're losing XP instead of gaining XP. Uh, so not always the best idea, but sometimes you just don't want to. But if you spend four XP, mm -hmm. that's when you check one of those boxes. So plus one of stat pools or plus one effort or plus one edge, or you gain a skill, or something else that you and the GM have agreed upon. If you get four of those checked off, you uncheck all of them and go from, well, right now technically we're tier zero, but you go to the next tier up. And that is a big power boost. That takes a long time to do, but also every four XP you spend, you are getting a smaller power boost. So you can either spend the XP as you get them for rewards now, or you can hoard them like the miser that I am until you are <laughs> getting power boosts that are lasting. Uh, because some people will hoard them. Okay. It's also often a... Mm. It, it, it is a house rule, but it is a recommended house rule that... And this is the GM's decision. Like some GMs will cap XP earned at 10. Just to encourage people to spend their darned XP, please. <laughs> For the record, that, that is in the rule book. It, but it's not something that you have to do. Yes. So it's sort of like a Deutero house rule. <laughs> it's an optional toggle. Yes. Yes. Anyway, you are on the banks of the Terra River. You know it's the Terra River because the Terra River is the one you fell into. <laughs> also, there's some really. I would be very <laughs> astonished if we were by another river. It would be a problem. I'm going to start yes. saying that we're However, in the Nile. You don't know where. No, no, I'm not in denial about this. <laughs> 
Yeah, but <laughs> sorry, Rob might be. That's true. Well, whatever river we're on, I don't recommend wading back into it. So I don't think you're allowed to be in denial. I am currently. <laughs> um, you have. Sorry. You have miraculously not sustained any injuries. Uh, you're just very wet. Also, and miraculously, this wet. And this your supplies wet. are still on their boat. Oh, and good. They're still more or less intact. Hopefully my satchel of medicines and whatnot is... My satchel's probably at least somewhat waterproof because <clears throat> little kids. You, you yeah, take some, You take your... your yeah, they, they spill things and it's like... It's good if you're you've or you go home in the rain or, you know, right. I'm, I'm imagining it's leather with waxed seams and. Yeah, not a zipper, but. I, I don't it probably you know, folds good as ties tightly as I can. Get. Yeah. Right. Um, you are on, despite what the map looks like, the south bank of the river. Well, the south it's sort the of southwest south bank. Uh, west is to the bottom on this map. Right. Because I haven't gotten around to rotating anything. Hmm. All right. I would love it if this is <laughs> campaign standard of north is never up. <laughs> At some west point, is it's now actually down. At 45 okay. degree angle. The one time north looks like it's up, it's Ellie, actually should, pointing to put magnetic a north. W underneath it. All right. Um. I suppose we should get uh, working then. Devin um, shucks off his outer layer. It's very loose for the good reason of, uh, well, horns. You've got to fit it over the horns. And he goes and lays it out on the uh, raft. And he picks up his journal. Right. I'm going to um, start trying to sketch out a map of the area we're in. We may not know where we are, but at least we can um, keep a record of where we're going. <sighs> Is anybody injured? I don't think so. At least I'm not. Oh, good. Only Let's my drag dignity. This one. Oh, who has dignity anyway? After you get to my age, you have no dignity left and you don't care anymore, neither. Let's drag this raft up a bit so that we don't lose everything we've got when it's dragged away and also give us some place to sit that's not the ground. It's hard to get up off the ground these days. I'm very right. surprised that my glasses survived, actually. Yeah, they're just wet. And this one is wet, and this one is wet, and this, this one is point, wet, where we dried in the river. Apparently so. At this point, old Rob's mm. hat, which is an old straw hat, looks like it may not have survived. But upon closer inspection, it's uh. always looked like that. <laughs> so are we pulling the raft out of the water? Please, could you give me a hand here? You're the young uh, uh, strapping person. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go get the raft out of Drag the water. The raft. <laughs> yep. a bit of I'll just start pulling it. Says I am a raft. <laughs> <laughs> is this the raft now? This little box. It is now, <laughs> presumably. <laughs> we did a pretty good job making that raft. It, it's over five feet wide. <laughs> You can tell it won't fit any five foot. All right. All right. Let's. Don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can we move this? It says, I'm a raft. Okay. Let's. Um... If it's just click where you want me to put it, I'll put it there. Um, Maybe over here a little bit. Like, I don't know where. It doesn't have like... to be too far out the river, just far just enough. Somewhere over here. Okay. Ish. That'll work. Sure. <laughs> It's not going to get washed away in the grass, you know? <laughs> right. You'd like to think that. Uh, there is plenty of wood around. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, there is plenty of wood around to El collect for a fire. Um, he is saying that because of what I wrote in this the is not chat. Yes. <laughs> uh, there is. This is not a manicured area. There is no shortage of fallen branches. Okay. Okay. So. And so while the two of you leaves are, because autumn has started. Mm -hmm. All the leaves are brown. Is the sky gray? <laughs> <laughs> I'm it is a sky gray. Walk. I was just about to talk to about herbs and mushrooms. Um, Carcindo, would you... Mm -hmm. Let's see, you're a botanist. It seems and like something that I should have, yeah. You know from healing. Mm -hmm. And you know from cooking. Uh-huh. So, I'm going to say, will you give me a roll against a six, please? A six. You roll higher than a six. Higher than a six. Oh, okay. Higher than a six is fine. And it's on d20, right? Yes. Roll to d20. Higher than a six. How will 11 do? 11 does just fine. Uh, yeah, there are... Mushrooms, there are mushrooms and there are herbs. There's and fungus among us. Not only are there mushrooms and there are herbs, but there are a lot of different kinds of mushrooms and a lot of different kinds of herbs. And thankfully, you know what you're doing. That is a very useful it, thing because mushrooms are nothing to play with. Yes. No, you, uh, you know to avoid these ones and take those ones and... The ones over here are actually a reasonable facsimile for pork, somehow. Hmm. Pork shrooms! <laughs> I mean, I don't think we were washed far enough down to be where you can have poisonous lookalikes of normal ones. So, <clears throat> on the other hand, you, you if you're not quite sure, you carefully set them aside and so you can squint at them later and decide whether you want them or not well at least we're going to have something to eat so gather up some of those gather edible and medicinal things this is not a an area devoid of wildlife but uh, as you might expect from a bunch of humans having just woken up, having just washed up on the shore and then woken up and started talking to each other. There isn't a whole lot of round. You can hear birds off in the distance. And I'm certainly not going to be hunting down a deer myself. So if we're going to eat anything that I find, it's going to be a mushroom or a plant. Because those don't generally run away very fast. One would hope. One would hope. You Kevin, never you know up? out here. Hmm. Maybe it's all wild touch. We don't know. Devin, you said you were stepping away to do something? Yep. Um, Devin is, has taken his journal and is trying to sketch out a crude map of the area. That's right. Um, from what you can see, there, and you can see, th this is a roughly level area, so you can see about three miles in every direction. Um, this is off to the, um, what did I say this was? <laughs> off to the north, there is, uh, a forest starts to sprout up. Um, and there's something else there, but you can't quite make it out. Uh, you, unfortunately, you don't have any, like, binoculars or anything. But, uh, mm. th this isn't a you problem. This is a, it's far away problem. Um, and to the south, it's just more of what you've got here. The river continues on to the east and the west. Mm. This is this is a route that clearly gets. There's enough traffic here to warrant, like you can see, there's a path, uh, and there is a log that's been. The, the log that goes across the river is 
uh, first of all, about 10 feet off the river. Uh, you know, the, the banks at that point are about 10 feet high and they slope down over the course of, say, 40 or 50 feet to a, the little beach that you washed up on. Um, but the log has been placed there deliberately. It didn't fall. There are stones holding it in place. But there's a bridge. And part of the, the top of it has been smoothed. Uh, it's it's not like flat. It's it's not like sawmill cut, but you could walk across it without. I wouldn't require a roll to rock walk across it. That is something I'm glad of. I'd feel a bit nervous if you did. A roll is only required if you try to use the arrow keys to move your character across the log because it's not quite at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to use the mouse, that's an easy task. <laughs> oh, there he goes. What's that thing from Robin Hood Men in Tights? Look, I'm on one side of the river. I'm on the other side of the river. I'm on the south side. I'm on the west side. <laughs> west is a direction, isn't it? It has a name. It has a name, Crash. And its name is Diane. <laughs> I thought it was the Terra River. Yeah, but the west side of the river is named Diane. Ah. Uh. I thought the log was named Diane. And, it, <laughs> okay. and Diane crossed Terra. They're not on speaking terms anymore. <laughs> you well, I don't think the bridge them. should be on speaking terms with the river. Yeah. Actually, wait. No, no. I, because usually the river wins. No, they they did have a falling out, but they they did become friends again. They they talked it through. Um, it's all water under the bridge. We don't want a bridge to have. Yeah, we don't want a bridge to have a falling out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. How many puns can we fit into one small section of this? <laughs> the answer is not enough. We need more. So at this point, um, to reiterate something that was written, um, as soon as uh, a comment was made about, okay, let's get to work, Old Rob started muttering about work. I've never worked a day in my life. I'm not about to start now. I'm going to go gather firewood so we can get warm and dry out. And therefore started doing work. But don't tell him it was work. Nah. <laughs> and then likely tried to start a fire with, I don't know if old Rob would have anything on him to start a fire. Hmm. He may or may not have a pipe that he's never smoked in his life, but just thought it was neat. <laughs> Oh my, okay. Um, Does anyone have flint and <clears throat> precious steel? Or are we going to have to try to do a, a you, you rub the wood in the other wood and hope for enough heat to start the tender? That's just something I'm pretty sure know. this hammer is made of steel. Yeah, That's true. Adelina, you know how to start a fire. I can start a fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can stop a fire That's too. True. Yeah. That's true. You've probably got a flint, and you, if your hammer is is iron or steel, then yeah, it's it's steel. I mean, yeah, yeah. You've, you've got uh, you've got a flint in your pocket to ignite the forge if you need to. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like that's just something you carry. Of course. And you are on your. Who else is going to light the forge? forge? You know. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I probably have it still. All right. Where do we want the fire to be? Uh, based well, on not too close did, to the raft. We don't want the raft on fire. Right <laughs> alongside the bank of the river is probably where old Rob would want it, based on we just survived the entire town burning down. Mm. Yeah. We should have it near the water. Yes. Okay. Um, we'll have smoke on the water. How about air? Okay. How about that? A little close to the water, but sure. We don't want to get too soggy while we're there. Uh, that's true. 
I am a fire pit. Oh, okay. It's all above ground now. Okay, cool. Let's, um, sort of above ground. I don't know. Um, let's not hmm? have the font size be 48, shall we? <laughs> I am a fire pit. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, you can spark it with the flint that I've got, right? If there's wood here. Anybody gather wood? Yes. Wood. Yes. Okay. Rob gathered wood. Okay, so I'm gonna, like, use the flint and, um, put it on top of the wood and kind of strike at things with the hammer a bit to get sparks going. And then we have a fire, hopefully. Okay. You've got a fire. You've got a fire on the beach. Yes. I have, mm -hmm. I have taken off my beach party and folded it in half, then folded it in half again, and then twisted it like a shower <laughs> towel. And perhaps increased <laughs> the flow of the river by a significant muddy amount. <laughs> okay. Because Dagnabbit, the character art has old Rob wearing a bath robe. That's canon. <laughs> That's what he wore to the inn. Sure. <laughs> old Rob That's nice. is the twelve hundreds equivalent of people of Walmart. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna okay. say. Uh... The dude from the Big Lebowski. Oh, that works too. Old Rob abides. Yes, it does. Well, <laughs> our homes were outside the city. Mm -hmm. We could try to follow the river back, get back to our homes. They hopefully won't burn down. And do what there? Read a book. Get a change of underwear. Hmm. Old Rob nods sagely at the territory now. without saying anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, we know the way back to the our. We know the way back to civilization from there. Bold of you to say that town was civilization. Well, I said we know the way back to civilization from there. On a good day, you can see the. Uh, what was the main city named again? Like on a good day, you can see Dunport. You've got really good eyes, like I don't. All right. I think we have three options. Uh -huh. We can try to get home and get our things and move out to the other options in a more um, prepared manner. Uh huh. We can try to head towards the wilderness settlement to see if anything has happened to them or if they might know what's going on. Mm. Or we can try to head towards Dunport to get help. I mean, I have some stored food stuffs back at the house because you can't be always bopping in to go to the inn for every single meal sometimes your knees hurt right right i should go check on my parents house i don't know what happened to them were they in town or no no outside of town probably wondering what happened to me i mean we all ran into the place you're gonna everybody's gonna assume we're dead here's what we're there's um my worry about going back is that there's going to be um well the possibility that some creatures or other are looking out for the survivors <laughs> Old Rob points directly at um, Devin. I have to keep checking because new campaign. I forget everyone's name. All right. Old Rob points mm -hmm. directly at Devin. Mm -hmm. Devin exactly. Points directly at Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> or worse, I, Old Rob points directly at Chroma and says, What are you doing here? Your campaign is over. Terrifying <laughs> 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 I 
apparently I'm very scary here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the one who set the Ugogs? <laughs> now, now. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Be careful, that will spiral. That will we spiral. Are, so, we are facing into two different realities here. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. If if you mm-hmm. don't think Chroma is scary in any reality, you have not been paying attention to Chroma's capabilities. Mm-hmm. Indeed. <laughs> and impulse control, or lack thereof. Right. right. Anyway. Um, so, yeah silliness and not remembering anyone's name aside when when devin says hey they could be looking for survivors old rob points directly at devin like yes th- this is words out of my mouth you took them give them back uh <laughs> the ugogs well on the other hand we the might... things they did yes but that means that we might need to go back after adelina's parents or do you think that they stay put and be safe somehow. I'm not saying do um, go back. I'm not saying do go back. I'm saying whatever choice we make, there's a very strong chance that whatever went after our home isn't done with it just because they burned it to the ground. And stole all the people in it. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering if... Yeah... If that's what they want to do, steal all the people in disguise that they stole all the people, they might not care anymore. I would think. Depends on what they wanted, and we don't know. That's true. Well, obviously the people. About how... Sorry, Ellie. Yes? About how long a walk is it between Dunport and... um, Dunmere? No, not Dunmere. Um, Dunmarch. Dun... Yeah. Dunmarch, yes. We need uh, we need a better variety of names. Um, <laughs> Ellie says to the It's about three miles, down. so... I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> three miles? It's about three miles. It's If you're... If you really want to hustle, you could get there in about 45 minutes. That's easy. There are In that yeah, case, it's not a difficult it's not a difficult walk. Well. It's one of these roads is going to be leading in that direction. And if we go and get help, we'll probably be able to help any other survivors much better. And we'll be able to use proper road to get there, so that makes sense. All right. We We've should go been... Get uh, uh, again, I should remind you, these aren't actual roads. They're footpaths. Yeah. Still. This is traveled, but not well-traveled. Okay. Still, there is not a lot of places for footpaths to be going between hopefully hopefully we aren't going to have like paths that made by robbers or some ruffians or the like or a bunch of deer you cut out uh, there a bunch of deer Devin would you give me a roll I, no um, difficulty I just want to see what you roll okay Okay. <clears throat> so are we walking back or what? I'm up for getting help if we, that's where one of these roads leads to. We've been out for who knows how long. Another couple hours probably won't make too much of a difference. And if it does, then... We probably wouldn't be well prepared enough on our own anyway. Mm. Well, just let me dry off at this fire a bit longer and then we can uh, put Doused it out. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I should see if my outer shirt is dry enough to wear again. Um, Found some food. 
Devin. Yes. You. Something has been off the entire time you've been here. And you haven't quite been sure what it was. Oh. And. And then not like off, off, just there's something tugging at your attention and you can't place it. And you realize that what it is, is something literally tugging at your attention. In one of your pockets, it is twitching, I guess. Is there a frog in your pocket? Item. Oh. Devin carefully reaches in and brings the twitching thing out of his pocket. The object in your hand, which you were given by the Ugogs, uh, and which is su supposed to, uh, which which they claim starts fire, uh, is not twitching so much as tugging, and it's not not like forcibly. But as you hold it in your hand, it is sort of nudging uh, toward whatever it is that's in the north. That that thing that you couldn't quite identify. Mm -hmm. If you believe it's alive, clap your hands. <laughs> I don't believe. I don't believe. <laughs> I do believe in spooks. And that's why I'm not clapping. <laughs> I don't believe in fairies. I believe they're called the Fae. The fair folk. The oh, gentry. No, they all the time. No, 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 no. I mean, yes, but also, no, you don't sell them, so duh. <laughs> anyway, you don't have to do anything about it, but... I like didn't it, entirely it's... catch what's going on because of the um, side track yeah, into the Fae. Uh, it's okay. twitching like it wants to it's go okay. to the north. Toward the thing that you saw on the horizon that you couldn't make out. You don't have to go, you, you don't have to do anything about it. You can put it back in your pocket and ignore it. Well, this wants to go somewhere. Might be where they took everyone. Oh, maybe. Yes, I'm going to at least scribble that down on my map here so that we remember where to go to after we've found help. We might want okay. to scout it out first. Wait, that's off to the north. Doesn't the footpath lead northish, north south? Yeah, but, I mean northwestish. To the north, there is a forest, and there is a thing. The only where thing... do we think we are? The only thing that bothers me about Ellie saying a thing is usually it's Ellie who responds with not. A thing. <laughs> <laughs> the duty has fallen upon me. <laughs> I will carry this burden. <laughs> I made Ellie laugh. I get inspiration. <laughs> there is no inspiration in this game. It doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> you planning on going north? All right, we could. Do we know where we are to get to any place? Well, we're on the Terra River. Uh huh. Pretty hard to miss that. that uh huh. Didn't it didn't miss right. us. So, uh -huh. if we know where the Terra River flows to. Well, I could just walk 
cast it down this little pass and see what happens. I mean, that's why I was saying we could follow the river back to our town. From there, we know where to get to places. But most of the town is gone, though, isn't it? Yes, but the roads aren't gone. You can't burn the path. Not I mean, you can burn the path, but it's still. Well, you are not burning the path, young man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you'll call old Rob young man. She's older. So oh. <laughs> old, okay. It's only because old Rob is not quite sure how old Carasinda is to get into a conversation about <laughs> who you call in young. <laughs> it is quite possible that old Rob is wearing clothing older than Carasinda, but it's because it's a hand me down. Mm-hmm. Possibly what? It's, it's just um... a <laughs> You're All saying right. Dun- so Dunport is on the sea. Does the Terra River flow down to the sea? Uh, actually, weirdly, it doesn't. Hmm. The Slow. magical theorists are not entirely sure why. But it, it does not go to the sea, uh, as far as they can tell. They, it goes. Up it to originates sea. in the hills. It originates in the hills northeast of Dunmarch and flows through Dunmarch. Uh-huh. But it flows westward. The sea is eastward. Hmm. All right. So we've gotten uh, sent away from where we'd like to go. Yes. Well, while it has been about 50 years since the boundary of explorable land has started expanding. It has also only been about 50 years. Uh, And there's quite a bit of this that isn't formally mapped. So the southeast road is more likely to lead to Dunport. It's the southeast road leads, at least for now. Footpath. Right, footpath leads at least at least for now toward. I won't say toward closer to the center of civilization. Um, the river. It's true. If you follow the river, it will take longer, but you'll get back to Dunmarch. You just won't be walking on a footpath. You'll you'll be walking across terrain. And the other footpath leads towards where the item is tugging me. Right, and towards uh, roughly the edge of explorable area. Terracenda? Mm. I'm, I'm not a scout. I don't think any of us are, are scouts. Hmm. If we want to scout the place out, we'll probably have a better time if we go get people who are good at that. That's fair. Getting a better view of whatever it is just a bit might work out, but I know it's stressful having unknown time pressures and people in danger, but if we act rashly, we'll then... be in danger. Yep, that's how yes. it goes. Do you and think we should not walk? really accomplish anything? If we walked to the north a bit, do you think we could get a better view of whatever that thing is that we can't see very well from here? Without getting into territory that we'd be getting into trouble. We might. That... That might be good to do. We can at least show up with more information. Yes. I think that's I'd half the cautionary like tales to bring... like start. Mm. So Getting more information? So where are we going? Should I, should I douse the fire? Huh? It's not like it's got We're to trying to decide. Mm-hmm. Let's put out the fire. Or if we have pursuers, they might see the smoke. Okay. Uh, good idea. Bury that thing. Yeah. Uh, 
Old Rob would like to take one of the longer pieces of firewood that might make a decent walking stick and use it as sure. a walking stick. That's that's fine. Go for it. All right. I'm going to... Um, there's another one, Karasinda is going to go after it as well. There are so one. many. Yeah. There's so much stick. around here. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna like the same walking stick and stare at each other for a little bit. (laughs) I'm gonna splash water into the fire pit until it's doused. Yeah. Devin, I'm sorry, what were you saying? I'm going to work on trying to reclaim some of the rope from the raft. Oh, Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna splash a bunch a bunch of water into the fire pit so that we can put it out. No problem. I'm no survivalist, but a resource is a resource, and we're not going to be getting any more rope if we need it on the road. I don't know why we might, but we might come across something that's hard to cross or have to climb down somewhere. If we don't want people to see that it's obvious that we were here, once we get the rope off the raft, we should probably roll the logs around a bit so... They aren't so obviously, I am a raft. (laughs) Maybe drag them back towards the river a bit so it looks like they washed up on it. Yeah, I can do that. Where do you want to put it? Mm. I mean, when Seven gets the rope off it. Maybe cover up where the fire pit was. Mm, It's still smoking a little, but... Eh, No, then we don't want to do that. Well, we can bury the fire. Bury that bit. Yeah. Yeah. So you want me to put the raft where? Uh, maybe a little bit downstream of the fire pit once. Well, put one of the logs downstream of the fire pit and other, maybe drag another one a bit upstream of it and just sort of have them partly in the water. So it's vaguely there. plausible. They, yeah. OK, well, we're putting it here. <laughs> well, while they're having this discussion, old Rob is kicking whatever remains of the fire directly into the river. Well, okay. <laughs> That'll stop a fire. We have a slight grudge against these fires right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think it's understandable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am a one log. <laughs> uh, I am another log. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I, I am my other brother's logs. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You have doused the fire. You have separated the raft. You have gathered the rope. You have eaten a meal. Mm-hmm. It's mostly mushrooms and herbs. Yeah. Decided where to go? Uh huh. Which way are we going? I'm sorry. I'm confused. We're going to the left. If I. If, if okay. I'm correct about. Yes. Huh? Eh? All right, I'm just going to follow right. Karasinda because she's going somewhere. <laughs> Watch your step. If you don't get dropped right. off the log at just the right angle, you fall off. Huh, all right. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Dragging. <laughs> yes. I guess we're hands. just going to singing a song as we're off to see the wizard. Uh, no, we are not <laughs> off to see the wizard. And you know. on that note, that's oh. where we're going to take a five minute break. Okay, Alex. sounds good. I'm gonna yes. <laughs> uh, you walk around along the footpath to the northwest for oh, about half an hour before the thing that was on the horizon starts being like recognizable as a something other than the thing that was on the horizon uh there is a hill it's a small hill but it's a hill and on top of the hill is rubble barney Uh, no (laughs) probably about 25 feet tall and uh, made of stone that has been that that was at one point deliberately placed. It's nice probably time. another fifteen minutes walking from where you are. 
I'm is going that... to start sketching out what little I can make out of it. Okay. Um, is that one of the towns that was on the edge? Is that thing tugging past the rubble? Oh, Maybe this is like a, this is a, a building's worth of rubble, not. Oh, oh, good. Um, okay. Interesting point. Can we triangulate on where the, your little tuggy thing is tugging? Do we need to tie a string to it or something? It, it continues to tug toward the rubble. I, there's no way to tell whether it's tugging past the rubble until you try to walk past it or. Uh... Adelina and Carasinda, please give me a roll at 12. Old Rob, you can make it at 9. And Devin, you can make it at 6. Failed. Oh dear. Yeah, I Evan didn't, makes uh, it. <laughs> Nobody else does. <laughs> no, I didn't make it at all. Well, Jen, that was a D twelve. So. For the oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what was I supposed to roll? D twenty. Oh, sorry. Numbers. Right next to the D twelve. Yeah, uh, it's a three. Oh, three. <laughs> no, it's a four. It's better than whatever. One. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. System rule. Remember, I talked about GM intrusion, where if the GM does an intrusion, the person dealing with the intrusion plus someone else they rope in to help them get an XP each. But if you roll a nat one, the GM still gives you an <laughs> intrusion, but there's no mm -hmm. XP awarded. That's fine. Well, you didn't. It could be so. that your arm falls off. Don't worry about it. That's true. <laughs> That'd be pretty hard for a blacksmith, though, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so Devin with an 18. Um, this is, as you're sketching it, this is the ruins of something bigger. Uh, like, bigger, bigger. Ooh. And... You can tell as you see the path sort of curves around it. It, it. Whoever made whoever has made this path doesn't want to go near it. Hmm. But it is not entirely collapsed. And in fact, it looks like it's about two stories high because it looks like that's what remains of it. And what you saw coming from the southeast was the ruins of the top several floors of it slumped over toward you. But oh, there is still some intact structure there. I am drastically curious about what's in there. But I made a suggestion, and it would be awful foolish of me not to stick to it, just because I want to run off and... Satisfy my curiosity. We don't know what's living in that thing. Exactly. And we kind of. So have I will make my sketches. Mm -hmm. My job. We kind of have one. Exactly. Uh huh. Whoa, it actually is snowing inside. Not Ooh. in the game, like outside, outside. Oh. Old Rob tries also, to catch a snowflake on RV his tongue, parked but in the, the forest sack. wall isn't <laughs> providing any. You are judging by the distance, ju judging by and De Devin, you can identify this, but uh, you, you can tell the other players if you'd like, or the other characters, I suppose. Uh, you are about ten minutes from the ruins of a stone tower. Devin is indeed relaying what he sees and what he thinks about it. Possibly the latter at length. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I admit I'm tempted to go poke at it myself since it's ruins, but something might be living in there, like those ergot things. And we should not be going poking around where something might be living there. Uh... 
Well, there's no harm in walking towards it. Don't have to go uh, well, in, you know? Think that way. Uh, well, if there's something living there, there might be lookout scouts for more of those little weird things. <sighs> so, so you we don't want to go there? Well, I want to, but I don't think it's safe. Nothing's safe in this world. Look what just happened to our town. Well, yes, but there's there's not safe, and there's courting not safe. I mean, we're already sort of not on the doorstep of not safe. I'm not sure if we should be knocking on not safe's door with a little corsage to invite them to the dance. That is a stunning mental image. Thank you. Hmm. I used to be young once. And I'm sure you did a myriad of dangerous things. No comment. Oh, that means something happened. No comment. <laughs> right. This conversation a story for later. Stop. A story for later, yes. Rob, Rob has already turned around and started walking the other direction, but is constantly looking over his shoulder like every two steps just to see if people are following him or if he's going to have to walk back again. I mean, Which way is Rob going? Away. <laughs> Rob is not quite sure. He's been relying on other people to say which way they should go. Well, I have to concur. Let's be trying to be on our way to Dunport. Devin, let's the keep... thing in your pocket is now that you have... You've done a little triangulation because the road, again, doesn't go straight toward the tower. And the thing in your pocket is definitely tugging toward it. And it's doing so a little more strongly. I know, I know. You really want to go there. Well, so do I, but you're going to have to wait for a little bit, all right? We are refusing the call to adventure. This is not going to go well. Mm. I am not refusing the call to adventure. I am putting them on hold. Attempting. <laughs> yes, I am putting them on hold. Well, if it speaks to portion, it doesn't seem to. You can't tell. No it harm. Keeps tugging, but in talking to it. No harm in talking to it. Okay, you've discovered that it's a tower that's fallen over. Um, and now apparently you're headed back in town southeast. While um, Devin was drawing the sketch of it, Carcinda was poking around just the immediate area to see if there were any more edible uh, things to scavenge up, like mushrooms or herbs or whatever. Yeah, you can get a, you know, not a pack full, but a few. Have a snack, since we're going to be doing a lot of walking. Okay. Poor we have snacks. a duty to tell people what happened. Uh-huh. Yep. I just really this is our only clue. Scavenging for mushrooms and stuff. This is the weirdest trail mix ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought Great there were so. M&Ms in there. They were Pretty much. M&Ms. <laughs> well, don't eat them unless they're candy coated. What are you going to find in the woods that's candy okay. coated? You never know. All right, so where are we going? Yeah, which are you taking the footpath or are you following the the river? I am following the footpath. I am following Devin. <laughs> Let's go see where the footpath leads. Okay. The river okay. is unlikely to lead to people we can um, speak to about the situation. Well, I mean, there's there's Adelina's parents, but honestly, they're probably back on the way to civilization as well. Probably. Yeah, they, I mean, we lived outside of town, so. Mm hmm. It might so be okay. okay. If nothing came, if nothing came back for them, and 
seems like maybe nothing would because they already stole the whole town. Yeah. I'll leave. They didn't go after us They, because we got into the town just fine. So your parents are okay. probably fine and they can sit back, go back and alert people and then we'll show up and explain what really happened. And then they'll send somebody back with that tuggy thing. I guess, yeah. That tuggy thing. <laughs> well, kind of what it is. Mm-hmm. And we placed it on a boat to get out of town. A tug boat, if you will. Okay, that pun sank. <laughs> I think I, I it would didn't hear all of it, but that's okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> trudge, right, trudge, so trudge. you just keep walking. How how far do you walk? Let's let's yeah. assume that the scenery doesn't change. How far do you walk? At what point do we realize um, it's a rotating map painting behind us? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if we're going back to town, what's left of it or whatever, I mean, I'm not sure how far away that is. Well, and also, we're not sure where this road, this footpath leads. Right. Devin right. intends to walk either until we get to Dunport or until it becomes clear that this path is not leading Dunport word. Oh, okay. okay. Well, it, yeah. it progresses more or less. Southeast, yeah, southeast. Dunport's up on a hill um, or something, right? The the castle is on a hill. The city is, is surrounds it. So we should be able to see it eventually if we're going in the right direction. Uh, in th well, in theory, yeah. Assuming hmm. you're northwest of the city. Which, Which is a good assumption? Well, Dunmarch was like west northwest of the city, and the river flows west from Dunmarch. And this road leads southeast from the river. And you were farther west on the river than Dunmarch is. So you're headed. Actually, you're more li you're more likely to ha be headed toward that rival town whose name we never wound up inventing. I mean, that's kind of fine, just as long as we get to civilization that has a road that we know where it goes. Okay. And they might need a warning. <sighs> yes. Yes, they might. Okay. So, after several hours of walking, you uh, encounter a bridge. And this is not a bridge for this road. This is the bridge for the main road, or a main road, uh, that heads east and west. Or it's actually west, southwest, and east, northeast. But As these things go. Um, and this is a road. Like a proper... In fact, this is a proper paved road. Not asphalt, but like cobbles. Mm. Yeah. Um, this is... Oh, thank goodness. My this is one of the network me. roads. I mean, if it's cobbles, uh, your feet are going to kill it be even worse, but... <laughs> Your footpath diverges right after the bridge. Yes, uh, to the, just to the west of the bridge. Where does it go? The footpath? The footpath diverges from the major road just west of the bridge and heads northwest where the major road heads west-southwest. It's about a 75 degree angle 
Does uh, the major road look like it's being well kept? And oh yes, it it's a it's one of the roads that we would expect to lead to Dunport. Yes, this is given the angle of the given where the sun is, and where the sun was when you left the river, and the condi- and the condition of the road, which is again quite well kept up. This is a road that gets traveled. Uh, you expect this road to lead to the other, the rival town. Let's call it Rivalton. <laughs> <laughs> Rivalton, sure. The, That's the fine. annual high school basketball games are oddly predictable. <laughs> it could be Rivalton. They might like to weave. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. If they threw a lot of parties, it would be Revelton. (laughs) Sorry. No, this is gold. I need to write this. The Denmark sports team is called the Globetrotters, and you've never figured out why. (laughs) (laughs) Obviously, it's because someone imagined a perfectly spherical pig. Um, Yeah, so if you travel, let's call it east on this road, you will get to... Ravelton, Ravelton, Ravelton. Whichever Arch. vowel we've settled on. <laughs> in my head canon, depending it's on what lie. part of this town you're in, they pronounce it differently. I mean, have. probably. Yep. <laughs> depending mm-hmm. on the loca- where you are, they pronounce it differently. Mm-hmm. Yes, but all in the same town. Yeah. There are people in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Which indicates three Bethlehem. different... Yeah, three three different localized... So they're all saying it differently... Right. Yeah. <laughs> that. So is that? Do we doing? want to? We should head to. Are we going to Rivalton or are we going to Dunport? Which one's closest? Uh, Rivalton, definitely. Okay. Rivalton. So we'll go there. And you will. You will have to go. Not only will you have to go, like northwest or northeast, northeast, to get to. Well, okay. So from where you are, uh-huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some drawing on the we're doing theater of the mind here. Um, so this is where you are, this uh-huh. white circle. Uh, if you, so the road goes. Cut that out. <laughs> are we all supposed to go to the circle? You said we were there. So no, we this, there. no, but that's what we. I went to break. <laughs> it, 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 in fact, is would be better if you weren't. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. There you go. Boop. So the circle is where you are. Cut that out. <laughs> the... No, it wasn't. Cut that out. Oh, you can't get the thing where you want the thing to go. All right, it won't let me do it. Just say not to scale and we can move on. Why aren't you letting me? Yeah. Uh, Well, no, I'm trying to illustrate. Um, That's our footpath. That's your footpath. Okay. If you want to go to Dunport, you go this way. If you want yeah. to go to Dunmarch, you go this way. But the top two of those are, again, you'd be traveling overland. There are no paths there. The road goes to Revelton. Take the road. Take the road. Yes, let's take the road. <laughs> okay. Let's mark where our footpath comes in to make sure that it's not missable if people come running by, you know, to try to go find that thing that's about that that tower. We need to make some markings somehow so that we know where we came in, which footpath this is, so we don't send people on a wild chipmunk chase. Actually, thinking about it, you haven't crossed another river, and there were two rivers that come out of Dunmark. Hmm. This might be the other river that leads to Dunmark. But, but 
you have no way of knowing right now. I'm just saying that this it might be a way to identify. I mean, we know which, if we if we went to Denmark, we know which river we went on. I think. Yes. So we know which river we went on, so we could always find it that way because there's the bridge there, and there's a couple of the uh, our, our X raft and whatnot. But if we're going over the road, which would probably be easier, we should make sure to mark this footpath. I don't know, dig a pole or uproot something or tie a bit of the rope around something. And there are some trees around that you can like there there are fallen branches that you can make into a, a little sort of semi cairn. Mm. Uh, mm. Hopefully no one will come around and mess with them. Stick something up right, make it look like it's something that was actually made and not just handy firewood here. Mm. Tragically, Seems it would like not a good be. idea. It would not be particularly safe to go down to the ri- the river at this point and gather stones. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Nope. Chonk up the dirt a bit so that it's all disturbed and whatnot around our little cairn of sticks, and then we go on to Revelton. Okay. Uh, it takes another hour of walking before you see Revelton on the horizon. Uh, another hour of walking, and you're there. It's not. It's a, play. It's a good thing none of us. It's are not burned down. Colors. No, it is, yeah. You're at Revelton. Revelton is less so. Uh, well, that's not quite true. Revelton is all there. It's just not all here. It's mostly ash. Oh no. They did it here too. Was there anyone outside the Revelton walls? Did they have walls? They had um where Dunmarch was built into like a set of hills. Uh-huh. Uh Revelton was built on basically the flat plain. Um the, there are forests nearby, and Revelton used those to construct a palisade. That's what I'm looking for. A wooden palisade. Uh, and that is gone. The palisade is gone. The buildings are gone. Uh, you can tell where the streets were. Um, and to anyone who is familiar with Revelton at all, this is Revelton. This is definitely Revelton. Uh, but there's, there are no buildings here. There are no people here. There weren't people living outside the walls enough to not get grabbed by whatever that thing was. If, well, actually, you can see some structures outside the walls, but they also are not. It's possible that at Dunmarch. That Dunmarch was lucky in that it had stone walls. Uh, because that might have contained some of the fire. Uh, the wooden palisade clearly did not. not. Uh, <laughs> and the buildings that were outside the walls were not built far enough outside the walls to escape the collapsing palisade logs. Uh. I was so hop- hoping for a hot meal and perhaps something to soak my feet in. Well, if Revelton is like Dunmarch and you know that it is, uh, you have another hour of walking before you get to Dunport. Well, what? someone who's got, who's got better lungs, holler around and see if there's anyone left who has already started out for port and let's be walking then if you're not dead or you don't hear much anyone. I want to make a lot of noise you don't see anyone and there are actually uh, make me a roll at nine oh. everybody can do this everybody d20 roll high Fifteen? Thirteen. 
16. Adelina gets six. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing well. She's never oh, been wow. outside okay. of you know, the town she grew up in, so yeah. she doesn't really know. Mm -hmm. uh, there are no dogs here. There, there are no crows uh, or ravens. No, nothing that you would really associate with death. They got taken. No things scavengers. Yeah, it's because there's no bodies, the which means guns, of course, not there when we get there. And I am going to be incredibly peeved. So peeved. So very, very peeved. I will need to, we will need to go stomp back all the way back to that wretched little tower so I can find somebody and I will yell at them and I will hit them with this walking stick. Two of the last bastions of civilization taken in one night. But there's nothing for it but to keep walking. That's about right. Unfortunately. Done port we go. I am Done. hungry, I am tired, I am exhausted, but we have a job. It's going to be an hour's walk and whether we f stop and forage a bit or not. Should exactly. we stop and say? I'll keep a lookout along the road for whatever might be something. Anything edible? Bushes, berries. Wild carrots. Keep an eye out. Uh, uh -huh. Actually, the the area between Revelton and Dunport is fairly well farmed. Oh, um, I might find farmhouse along the way. And yeah, uh, as you start nearing... I mean, the, the, the area, the, the farms closer to where Revelton used to be would have been farmed by people in Revelton. Uh-huh. But uh, the crops change as you start approaching uh, Dunport. You get somewhat less blue. <laughs> um, and uh, as you near the town, you start seeing houses and people. Oh, thank goodness. And civilization. People. People. Wow. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's okay. Well, it's not okay, but at least here it doesn't seem to have been hit by those wretched little people stealers. Yeah. We need to find a guard or someone who can take our message of lost towns. You think that Adelina's folks would have been well? They might have stayed just to see if there was anybody. Uh, well, don't know. They don't leave their house that much anymore. Oh, uh, they might have stayed to wait for somebody to come find a. Well, we best go find them. We'd best find somebody. Right. All right. Plenty of people to find. There are farmers out in the fields. It's harvest season. Oh. Um. Gonna lose You're sure there will be guards at the walls? Yeah, uh, probably. Let's keep Dunport's walking. Then. A city of between ten and twelve thousand people. So, yeah, there are people around. Okay. Well, do we want to talk to the farmers first, or uh, just walk up to the guards? If the farmers are close enough, we should warn them against those little ergot things. If they see them, they should try to get out of the... get away. Ergot, not ergot. Ergot is... Ugog. Um, yes, Ugog. Okay. Ugog, not ergot. Ergot is... Um, it's bad for your rye, yes. Close yes. enough, close enough. <laughs> no, no, very different. <laughs> Old Rob. Do we see any farmers like from now on? And old Rob knows better. <laughs> oh, no, is debatable about whether <laughs> um is is debatable about where Carasenda knows better or not. 
<laughs> she might. Uh, has been if we approach there, the guards and we'll tell them there. that our town was kidnapped by Urgot. <laughs> <laughs> The farmers Ugags. go, oh, that's terrible. You know? Yeah. That happened to Ugags, Ugags, Ugags. Got it. Mm-hmm. Then they'll think everyone is hallucinating. <laughs> we did not Including hallucinate slots. the town burning down. Hey, I'm still peckish. You got more of those <laughs> mushrooms we found in the woods? No, we ate them all. <laughs> Perfect thing to ask. Uh, right Lena, to answer your question. Yes, there are. <laughs> There are farmers in the fields, they're harvesting, uh, you know, it's late in the day, but they're still harvesting their corn and their wheat. Okay. Hmm. If they're close, we should tell them, but if they're too far away, then... It... They're out in the, I mean, these fields are acres and acres, they're out in the middle. You can see them, but mm-hmm. it would be some walking to get to them. Okay. Let's, let's go to the town, I think. Yes. Yeah, let's... let's not run around in the fields panicking everyone. Mm. These guys got enough work to do right out there, so. Yeah, all right. Go to the town. Okay. As you approach the town, you can see that. Uh, so. Dunport really had no need for, like, heavy defenses. So Dunport existed before the apocalypse. And at that time it had heavy defenses, but the, you know, when the wild magic is right outside, nobody's coming in. So they didn't really see the need to keep them up. And so they have had to sort of figure out from first principles, almost what makes a good gate. (laughs) Hmm. And uh, because nobody has tried any kind of violence against the city in the last 50 years, they haven't been very quick about it. And so across the entrance to the city is like, think of a really bad portcullis. (laughs) (laughs) It's made out of wood, isn't it? (laughs) Yes. It's made out of wood and it's sort of haphazardly lashed together. And some of the, some of the stakes are at an angle. They tried. They haven't, they haven't caught on to the, the part where you make the bottoms pointy. Um, and there are a couple of guards posted outside the city and one of them always lies. And one of them always tells the truth. (laughs) Stab the one and say, and ask the other one, is he bleeding? (laughs) <laughs> uh no um there are two guards there, there's a guard on either side of the gates and there's one you know there there are more on top of the walls making their rounds and they they walk back and forth across the walls uh and they seem, they seem somewhat more serious about it than usual hmm. Devin sort of heads forwards he's um he's staggering a tiny bit mostly out of relief and like goodness we are fine wave you cut out out there oh dear Devin is going to sort of stagger forwards he's very relieved they're finally here he lifts his hands up and waves them around hello hello up there oh uh hello you're not taken. Good. You've oh, so you saw what happened to uh, Revelton, huh? And and Dun- us, Dunmarch. and Dunmarch, and two of the three places we've been to in the past. We barely mean, got Dunmarch. out anymore. Yeah. But now wait a minute. You. So you're saying you're from Dunmarch? Ah. That we are. Formerly. And. You came from Revelton. We washed downstream and we walked on a footpath we found and then we turned to Revelton because we thought it'd be closer and there might be a place to stop and rest our feet and tell people what happened we, to Dunmarch. And then there was no we Revelton. We needed to warn them, we thought. And they were mm-hmm. gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They had to warn. Mm-hmm. Just like Dunmarch. So, uh, this is two different people talking. I'm sorry, I can't do the voices very well. That's fine. So, uh, 
You're telling me that you were in the one town that burned down. Well, no. And then you were in the other town that burned down. Well, what of the wall it was burned? The town caught on fire. After it burned. Right. So you admit you were in the town while it was burning. We ran oh, into Are you it trying it to burning. imply that we burned down our own town? That four of us and me, a little old lady, burned down two towns? I should like to still have that much energy in my body. Ah, I that's need what you to want us to the think. Academy. Are you going to let us in or not? We need to talk. Well, we need to talk to the rulers. And I need to talk to the Academy. I think the Academy needs to talk to the rulers, too. Possibly at the same time, it'll save explaining things. Let's be honest. Oh, oh, if we the protocolis, we'll be able to walk between the bars the same way a Pomeranian goes through a child gate. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> that had been Wait. ordered by someone to... Oh. Oh, okay, okay. We'll, uh... We'll let you in. We'll let you... Yeah, yeah. All right. We'll let you in. Yeah, you, uh... But you go straight to the healers. Uh... Of course we will. We'll go straight to the healers, like good little... Straight to the healers. Mm -hmm. All right. And you... You tell them the guard said Urgoth... And they'll know what you, they'll know what to do. Don't worry, Ooh, you'll be yeah. taken oh, care of. That's not <sighs> okay, sir. Thank you for letting us in. Well, someone needs to go check on other people who are outside the walls at Dunmarch because there might be some more survivors who haven't been able to make the trip. All right, we'll go check on the people who survived the big fire that burned down the city. That's you right. go talk to the healers. Of course we will. Right. Check the check the houses outside the city as well. Might be people in there that Yes. Didn't have their house yes. on fire. And don't go tromping we'll, around in my house. You hear me? We no tromping. All right. Not we we won't go in your house when we go to we, If you don't right. care what happened, we'll find someone who will. Now now Devin, Devin is it on it don't don't worry. We'll just be going straight to the healers. Really? They start cranking the portcullis up. Or they signal for someone on the on the wall to start cranking the portcullis up. It, like old Rob said, you barely need the portcullis cranked up. I don't wait for the portcullis this is to be cranked up. Less a, walk through. <laughs> yeah, this is less a portcullis and more a portcullis. It's a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. We um, would really prefer you not enter our city, so please, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you can't go. You can't come in here. We have a flag. <laughs> um, yeah. I, uh, get, Beth can. Yeah, we can take five. Thanks. And we're back. You enter the city. The city of Dunport is, like I said, a city of about 12,000 people. It, it's not to put too fine a point on it. It's enough to support a breeding population. Hmm. Barely. Um, The city of Dunport is, as his name suggests, a port with a hill in the middle. Hmm. The port is on the south side of the hill. Part of it is built in, in the hill. Uh, the hill is quite tall and is shaped kind of like a doorstop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it ramps up and then... Uh, there is a, a cliff above the ocean. And below the cliff is rocks, but just to the south of the cliff is a perfectly serviceable natural harbor. Yeah. And that is what the port itself has been built around. It's weird to see a perfect. At the top of the harbor. hill is Dunport. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. At the top of the hill is Dunport Keep. Thwap. Oh no. Dunport Keep. Which is the castle uh, inhabited by the ruling family. And the current ruler of Dunport and Dunmere and all of those towns and cities within its borders is Queen Livia. Uh, Livia inherited, uh, assumed the throne uh, about five years ago after her father died. Uh, her grandfather was the one who started the exploration into the uh, lands that the wild magic had left behind. And so she is now the third generation of ruler to be overseeing this project. Uh, around the base of the hill is a fairly broad and diverse town. I, the legend has it that it used to be much more diverse. In fact, Dunport was supposedly a major city before the apocalypse, but nobody really knows. Uh, all of that is legend. The food and... supply would have been terrible. Sorry? The food supply would have whittled down the numbers pretty far if they didn't have much to farm. It takes a lot of farmland to support people. Yeah, the wild magic started about a mile outside of the city limits. So it's a miracle as anyone a left alive. <laughs> there was not a whole lot left to farm. They got good at making do with what they could. Probably a lot of fishing. That population went way a lot of fishing and Yeah, very few yes. rats. There there are probably still rats that are like bred like rabbits to have lots of little babies to feed people. Natural selection yes. has and rabbits created these and snakes and, rabbits. and but, <laughs> um anyway it is uh you know, other than that your basic medieval port city there's a uh, harbor district although it is not the kind of harbor district that you expect because Frankly, like it, it has that harbor district district character, but there haven't been sailors from other ports in Dunport for five hundred years. It has the harbor district. Um, yeah, so it is mostly a fishing district uh, at this point. Um, yeah, there there are healers. There's there are restaurants uh, serving. All kinds of odds and ends. I mean, mean that literally. Yes. You don't know what they dig up. Oh, yes. Harbor. Nobody in... Very few people in Dunport and Dunmere have qualms about eating things that in the modern U.S. we would consider alternative diets. They might hmm. sell haggis here. I mean, there's probably rat haggis and snake haggis and pig haggis and rabbit haggis and... They could even when there's not a lot, you get creative. Mm -hmm. So, where are you actually headed? Devin is going to set his shoulders and stomp off towards the... Uh, Academy. Okay. That's right. I was going to say we should go to the Academy because they are not going to let a lot of us go talk to anybody in the keep for the obvious reasons until somebody comes back from Dunmarch and reports that we're telling them the truth. So let's go to the Academy and they'll probably have somebody who has a better chance of talking to people who are sensible. And I can show <sighs> them the item. Exactly. Okay. That the academy will is prove something. On the north side of town. Uh, you are on the southwest side of town. So it's going to, again, take some walking. More walking. Please tell me well, the academy will have someplace to sit down. Oh, definitely. Life in a medieval fantasy is, there's a lot of walking. 
that's the only reason I haven't decided to lie down and just sort of die for a while. Uh, Not like permanently, just sort of for a while. Okay. The guard behind you. Yes. It's the the tall guard with the high voice waves and uh, then signals the guard on the top of the wall, who starts lowering the portcullis. Tink 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 tiku. At some point, and the sticks goes out of skew, and they have to wiggle it to get it to come back down the rest of the way. Yeah, they have to lift it up and straighten it and get it back in the you get it you hold it in the hole while it comes back down. That thing won't um, stop a new dog. Which pushes a different one out of the way. <laughs> it's a whole process. Mm. They raise it up and blow in it a little bit and then settle it back down in the slots. The problem is um, it's built by inventors instead of engineers and artificers. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much true. Um, it's gopher based. I should I should clarify, by the way, that the, the guards are both the guards are majority human, but not entirely. There are some felto. Oh, cool. Uh, and yeah, some knobby knobs, who he, you know, not quite sure. Yeah. <laughs> no one acknowledges what speaks. Yeah. Uh, you are pl- there are actually places to sit down, places to eat. You could stop if you wanted to. No, we have to get to the academy. Okay. Although if there's any street food and I don't have any money. Do I have any money in my bag? You probably got a little. If there's any street food, I'm going to spend some money on the street food as we go. Okay. Are you buying enough for everybody or just you? Of course. I'm going to try and buy enough for everybody. I'll buy as much as I've got and I'll share what I've got. Okay. Um, you have indeterminate kebabs. <laughs> okay, sure. That's what we eat. Indeterminate yeah. kebabs. They're <laughs> they're meat, probably it, from it, feral it rats. Hops. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, feral rats in them. No, they, they're they're meat. They're free range. Like there's a there's a what Department of Health. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. There, there is a Department of Health. The uh, many of these places have hearths that won't cook food that is impure. Neat. Um, and it's it's one of those little magics that you can convince things to do. Oh, cool! Because it, it and not be rat meat. This is because if you well, you can't really convince it to not be rat meat, but you can refuse to cook it if it has parasites. Oh. For example. Okay. Um, well, I mean, you need to cook it to get rid of the parasites. The parasites are additional protein. Yeah, but it, it, yep. You, it can. It will refuse to cook it if it has parasites that won't be killed by cooking it. Uh, um, toxins, botulism, no botulism, yeah. please. No oh, toxins, no. basically. Okay. And, it, and the reason for this is because when you're a town of twelve thousand and you have nobody else coming in, you can't afford plagues sweeping the city. Mm. No norovirus. No. Yeah. <laughs> Food poisoning? Um, Bad. Yeah, Dunport and Dunmere in general are very healthy cities. The the chief cause of death is accident. Oh. Hmm. Um, they had to learn and that is followed very closely by old age. Well, no wonder we tend to fall over a bit sometimes. So you're walking through eating your, well, is are people eating your indeterminate kebabs? Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Starving here. Uh, and you hear the, 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 first of all, you see people congregating at a certain point and you start hearing a familiar voice. Not familiar in the sense that you have heard it a lot, but familiar in the sense that when you have heard it, it's been memorable. Mm. Uh, and they are, you can't quite hear what they're saying, but they are talking. Mm. And what's the voice? It's Ellie. The voice is that of Queen Livia. 
Oh. I was wondering. Oh. All right. I'm going to bring my indeterminate kebab with me and walk over to the crowd and see what she has to say. Okay. Uh-huh. Are you following Adelina? The rest of you? Well, we can't afford to get split up, but... Old Rob has latched on to the idea that Devin is, among all of us, the one who knows his way around this city. Old Rob has not taken his eyes off of Devin for more than the time it takes to blink since walking through the portocollis. Okay. Devin will begrudgingly pause to listen. Okay. You reach the edge of the crowd and you can see Queen Livia. There's a... Um, not a stage, really, but a... And not a podium, but a platform. That doesn't seem to be constructed for this purpose. Or... or recently constructed for this purpose is that this is it's like you can see the banners around it are kind of worn mm. like they've been out in the weather um like this is if if you had to guess you would say this is a place for announcements like royal announcements and it is, as you're looking at it, you realize uh, directly down the hill from the castle. So she has to walk or be carried about five minutes to get here. And as you approach, you hear her saying, and you, you can see her by, at this point, by the way, it's like there is a crowd, but well, actually. Some of us are short. Yeah, Adelina and Kerosina. Kerosina, you might have to get on somebody's shoulders. I'm not getting on somebody's shoulders. I'm a little too old for that these days. <laughs> um, sorry, I just got a notification I wasn't expecting. Oh, all right. You can hear her saying, the supreme tragedy will not go without investigation or reprisal. We will all will remember the town and people of Dunmarsh and Revelton. And I will do everything in my power to see that, if they still live, those people are returned home. In the meantime, we will rebuild. Dunmarch and Revelton will not be left to the ravages of time. Okay. They will be restored and more, with all the resources I can bring to bear. And if those people, fate forbid, cannot be reclaimed, then I call upon the people of Dunmere and beyond. To not let their sacrifice be for nothing, and to make those towns more, better, than what they once were. My people, we are suddenly in dark times, and I have faith that you will rise to the occasion. As always, I am your humble servant, and I am grateful for your continued support and your help. May you always stay in the clear and the light. And she well, nods and turns away and... At least the someone told her saying, about Denmark. The guards begin saying, you know, okay, okay, speech is over. Um, all right, all right, all right. I was looking for a gif that to was the academy the audience, then, and I found this. <laughs> well, if that's what the I'm audience, then yes, you can all see her. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot and of Jawas and ignore, mm -hmm. ignore the Jawa with a Reuben sandwich that is just nervously playing with the toothpick sticking out of it it's fine it's fine <laughs> okay but, uh, mm -hmm. old Rob were you watching the queen old Rob was listening but the last time old Rob was anywhere but the city, town, whatever, that he lived in for 40 years. He was under the age of 10. He doesn't really remember being anywhere else. This is a very loud place. This is a very large, crowded place. And ask him, he'll deny it. But Rob is terrified of getting lost. Fair enough. So he is still focusing on Devin. 
who is the only person in this group that he is sore, knows his way around. Well, Devin has lived here in the past. <laughs> it's true. And you're tall enough. Were you looking at the queen? Yes. Though he might have had to take off his glasses for a moment so that he didn't get them blurry. That's fair. Adelina, would you roll me against a 12, please? Kerasinda, a 9. 20? Okay. I got a 15. Got a 15. Mm -hmm. 20. Crash, I don't remember what a 20 does. <laughs> um, did I close it? Give me a second. Oh, wait. <laughs> Major oh. effect. Yes. Which may or may not be relevant for huh. a non-combat situation. That's a GM's discretion kind of thing. Um, okay. Devin, you're watching the Queen. Mm -hmm. Adelina and Karasinda. Uh, first of all, I'll start with Old Rob. Old Rob, you are looking at Devin. You are not going to get lost. Mm -hmm. Mission accomplished. We can all go home. Adelina oh. and Karasinda. <laughs> mm -hmm. The crowd, the, the shuffling of the crowd parts just enough for you to be able to see the queen as she speaks. The, oh, the last part of her speech. Okay. That's good because I'm pretty short. Mm -hmm. That's true. And all three of you, well, all two of you, Adelina and Karasinda, turn to look at Devon. And Devin, you lower your face to look at your pocket. Because the queen is wearing a brooch that looks just like the thing you have in your pocket. And that's where we're going to end it tonight. Uh, Thank you all for playing. Thank you all for listening. Tonight I was joined by Beth, Ash, Eo, and Jen. And who wants to plug a thing? USB-C. Eos Mom Writes Books. <laughs> yeah. <that'd be. laughs> Eos Mom Writes Books. Elizabeth McCoy, M-C-C-O-Y, dot com. And you can also ask your local librarian to see if they can get the e-books, because that's what they are, is e-books, because physical books are really difficult. Um, and the e-books are really cheap for librarians. So... And right, speaking, of books. speaking of books, speaking yeah. of books, um, my website is bookofgen.net and it's got book reviews at the top, which I've been meaning to get to and whatever else I decide to put. Um, there's a lot of Diablo content I still need to put in there. Most of it's on my YouTube pages. But anyway, um, yeah, there's that. I'm also the host of the Shattered Soulstone podcast, which is about the company, which now I guess is Microsoft, right? Because they kind of <laughs> ate Activision Blizzard King. And um, so uh, and there's been layoffs and things like that. But right. Yeah. Um, but also um, I've been playing Diablo 4 uh, for a while in the seasonal stuff and it, I'm playing a sorcerer for the first time, and there is a learning curve there, but I'm trying to get the hang of it. And uh, new episodes come out every Saturday at ShatteredSoulStone.com. And speaking of websites, websites Crash, are you. made of HTML, and they are incredibly useful. Uh, oh, oh, you, this, never mind. I teach that class. Never mind. Uh, so, yes, websites. AaronBSmith.com is where I put. All of my stuff that I make, including, say, podcasts of actual play, tabletop role-playing game sessions, like this one here, which you can get to at rmbsmith.com slash cogwheel. And you can find all of our other campaigns there also, because I like having a hobby that takes a significant number of hours out of my weekend for editing audio. It's fun. <laughs> 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 and you might think I'm being sarcastic because I frequently am no this is actually fun for me I should probably talk to my therapist about that but moving on uh, <laughs> speaking of Patreons we do have a Patreon and speaking of people who help me move forward 
<laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, she's talking about a therapist. <laughs> Moving forward. We're sideways. We're crab walking here. Uh, if you want to help us keep the lights on, because we all know that if it's a hobby, it's a bottomless pit that we try to fill with money. If you want to help contribute to throwing Orca. more money down the bottomless pit, <laughs> you can go to patreon.com slash cogwheelgaming and help us keep the lights on, along with other illustrious patrons, including Ellie, Shen Shen, Walter, and patron emeritus Cindy. And until next time, this is Ellie saying... So what are we supposed to do with them? Good night, everybody. Uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs>